Alrighty, welcome back everyone. It is Laughing Games here. I'm back with another StarCraft 2 1 versus 1 bot AI cast. We have got ourselves what should be a good one here today, as it's gonna be none other than Deimos the Killer taking on Sharkbot the Shark, I suppose. And yeah, we've got a good one here today as it's going to be the two top Protoss bots taking each other on. Uh, they've definitely got very different styles, so I'm excited to see how the, how well they clash against one another. And we are on the map Equilibrium, the AI addition as both of these bots just soar up in the APM. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, before we get too far into this one, make sure to go ahead and click that like button or clack it. If we can hit, oh, I don't know, 17 likes on this video, that would be amazing. Join the Discord, which is linked down below. Leave a comment saying more bots if you want to see more of these bot games. That helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And then subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I put out daily videos on this channel pretty much. And now we'll take a look at what's going on here. We've got Sharkbot going out with the Probe Scout, seeing what's going on. Maybe sniffing around Deimos' base a little bit, as Sharkbot is going to be going for its own nexus with a low ground gateway. So, a bit of a greedier build by Sharkbot. Then chasing down the probe of Deimos, a pretty heavy-handed reaction with four probes chasing one. It's a bit of an overreaction, but when it comes to the bot scene, there's lots of bots that cheese with probes and workers, so... It's, it's an overreaction, but I don't know how much damage it was. Uh, just a bit of lost mining time. Sharkbot actually getting that probe is really nice as well. Meanwhile, we've got Deimos doing what it does best, which is building a lot of adepts. Sharkbot also BMing a little bit here, saying, Are you going to expand as it's built a pylon at its opponent's natural base? We'll see if these two adepts get right across the map or not, because Sharkbot has got absolutely nothing out to defend against these, so uh, it's gonna be gonna be a little bit concerning. There's another gateway on the way up, and it is actually gonna be a solid wall by Sharkbot, so great programming decisions by the bot author to have that up, as that will keep it completely safe from the adepts. As long as this doesn't get cancelled or anything crazy like that, then we've got Deimos going for a Stargate with the faster tech, but still very far behind on the economy. Deimos does have programming to deal with something like a simple pylon, though, at this base. Four probes will get the job done. It'll take a little bit, but that Nexus will eventually be able to go up. Deimos actually just <laughs> being impatient elects to throw off its expansion at its third base location, as that's something Protoss doesn't usually want to do. Deimos... I guess just uh, did whatever, I <laughs> just had a fallback to get up an expansion regardless. We've now got these two adepts of the Protoss bot not making it into the base of Sharkbot. That solid wall is very, very handy. The battery, I'm sure, will come in handy too. The main question right now is whether there's going to be enough anti-air to deal with this oracle that's been produced by Deimos. Sharkbot is quite behind in the, or quite ahead in the economy. Deimos is quite behind with 35 probes to 23. We'll see how much this Oracle is able to even that up, though, whether Sharkbot has anything in position to help defend. There is currently one Sentry out in the main base. Sentries do a little bit more damage against shields, but Oracles definitely deal bonus damage to Sentries. Probes are hanging out near the battery, though, to stay nice and safe, and with that battery finishing up, the Oracle does get pushed back. The Adepts are still having a hard time for Deimos. This seems to be a bit of a common bug that it has when it comes to trying to pass these into its opponent's base and there's no way it just keeps trying I uh, I think it's just because they're trying to get right into the main base instead of whereas when Deimos usually attacks with other units I think they're more path towards the front if I had to guess that's what's happening there we do have Sharkbot now with a stalker on the high ground actually able to shoot these adapts <laughs> it's gonna have a lot of damage to do but who knows maybe it can get it done and we did actually have the wall get broken down by Sharkbot too and this could potentially let these troublesome adepts get in, and this could be big damage getting done. Lots of adepts are now shading into the main base. They, however, are not bypassing the adept. I guess Sharkbot actually blocking that shade with with friendly shades. I didn't even know you could really do that. 
or I'm not sure if that was the exact mechanics taken play there, but that's look that looks like that's what happened. Now we do have one of the adepts in the natural base of Sharkbot. Sharkbot is trying to deal with adepts on the front, trying to get up an, another expansion for itself. We've got the Oracle coming back on in. Stalkers in the sentry will push the Oracle away. This one adept is still causing problems. Sharkbot has lost nine workers now. It doesn't want to lose any more. It's microing some in the prism to keep them going. I'm not sure how much good this is doing, but lots of lots of uh, supply and mining time is being tied up here and we are seeing some of those adepts get cleaned on up but Deimos is getting some good work done here Sharkbot is really trying to shut this down it's not easy though and the adepts are shading every which direction the battery is out of juice here as well so it can't heal against this oracle Deimos is really trying to get some damage done Sharkbot does at least have its third base on the way up behind this though so it is still going to maintain a bit of an economic lead at least in the base count Deimos has got a slight worker lead for now but with that slower nexus it might be in a bit of trouble and i'm curious to see if deimos is going to expand towards its fourth base location because it thinks its natural is taken or unavailable that's going to be an interesting question because there is a probe going down there and it does look like sharkbot has taken quite a bit of damage here with 18 probes going down the protoss bot is investing in more immortals it's got stalkers in a prism trying to hunt down that one oracle oh that one stalker retreats just a little too early the unit movement really is some really is quite the spectacle between these two bots like they don't have any glaring holes in them their movements get the job done when it comes to things like cleaning up the adepts and chasing after oracles it's not like we're seeing an oracle not be dealt with by shark bot as it tries to chase down this one oracle that battery will have gained up a bit more energy the oracle flying away takes one more shot it is really on its last legs pardon me there's actually two oracles flying around i didn't even clue into that because uh they didn't seem to be grouping up together we've got Sharkbot now going getting up a robo bay three gateways of its own both of these protoss bots are making immortals and this game is really really great to watch here sharkbot is still down on probes it's finally getting out some more workers after losing those it's been just investing in units and tech so i'm glad to see it making more probes supply wise it's pretty pretty darn close 37 to 33 the robo bay is going to be interesting whether we see a disruptor or a colossus out of sharkbot the immortal count is definitely in favor of the blue protoss though that's going to be really important this is the time that if this was a human game, you'd want to see Deimos going for charge lots because they do very well against Immortals. And now we've got Deimos going for an expansion of its own, getting up that third base later than its opponent. I don't think the economic deficit is too high though, as both these bots are still just building on up. I do love the Disruptor on the way for Sharkbot. We don't see a lot of Disruptors in these bot games, but it is a PvP and that's the matchup we traditionally traditionally see the most disruptors in either that or pvt i'd say uh, but anyway now we've got Deimos moving across the map going for some aggression i'm not sure if sharkbot's ready to defend this but then i look and i see three immortals uh, five immortals pardon me a prism and batteries to help against just stalkers that is looking pretty nice for the blue protoss bot we'll see how well this prism micros because Deimos does have amazing unit control, and these Immortals are actually taking a lot of damage. Some of the Stalkers are going down, but it seems that the fanning out of Deimos' army is really just maximizing damage. Sharkbot having a hard time. A Disruptor Nova gets tossed out, but that was kind of a, a dreaming shot. And all of a sudden, Deimos is coming in with a big push here. The Protoss, or the Blue Protoss, is not fighting on its batteries either, so it's just bleeding off units. The micro of Deimos is insane. Like, these two armies, I thought they were going to be even going into a fight, or I thought that Sharkbot was going to have an advantage, but instead, Deimos just kind of absorbs Sharkbot's army, grinds it down to nothing in a very short moment. This one Disruptor is off cooldown. It's not tossing out a Nova, though. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. Sharkbot just has like nothing left Deimos came on in for the kill and it's been able to massacre its opponent it lost it lost four immortals to none as Deimos kept all of its own alive and I think it just massacred Sharkbot with incredible unit control like my gosh that was just nuts I really thought Sharkbot was gonna take this one it was definitely in a better position and then just Deimos's army control is phenomenal Sharkbot 
did move out. It was a bad engagement. It wasn't a terrible one. The army's considering. You think if they just, like, A-moved, it would have been an okay fight. There was five immortals in there, but just, like, the max, the minimization of damage being taken by Deimos. Like, if a unit's not firing, it's pulling back to mess with the opponent's AI. And, yeah, this is the reason why Deimos is the number one bot on the ladder right now. It just fights with seemingly worse compositions at times, but still gets the win. I'm excited to see more matches between Sharkbot and Deimos, whether Sharkbot will potentially get an update uh, to make it take better fights, because I do think Sharkbot played quite a great game between these two, but in the end it just wasn't enough against the strong timing attack that Deimos does so darn well. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this match and you watched all the way to the end here, go ahead and subscribe as I put up daily bot videos on the channel. If you want to try making your own bot, you can check out sc2ai.net and their Discord, and you can also join my Discord, which is in the comments below. If you want to become a YouTube member to support the channel, there's various perks you can see using the join button. We do see a disruptor at least get one connection, but yeah, it's just crazy. Like the units of Deimos, they just, they just seem to have some some advantage that makes them makes them king. Uh, yeah, and I'm not sure what Sharkbot could have done better there. Leave a like and leave a comment saying more bots. I am gonna go back and check out that fight just again because that was just nuts. It's like 43 supply to 43, 15 stalkers and two immortals against five immortals and five stalkers. I think Sharkbot probably just didn't have all its supply grouped up properly. And then it kind of just got fed into, fed into Deimos, which had a really nice concave. I'd be curious how this game would go if it was a little, if that was a little different. But like, yeah, you see Deimos, like as soon as the stalkers are in range of the enemy, they're just retreating. It's really darn good micro, and then Sharkbot, like, not all of its units were fighting or firing. Some were pulling back, some were getting injured, but, like, it wasn't terrible. And then the concave really just seemingly worked for Deimos. Like, the Immortals were not firing a lot here. They were retreating, they were kind of unsure what to do. Then the Prism was like, ah dee da dee da uh, And it picked up a single Stalker instead of helping out. Whereas if Sharkbot did just pull back and defend on its batteries, Holy, it probably could have held on here. So, well, yeah, I'd, uh, I'd really like to see this game. I could watch a scenario like this a hundred times because it re this game really did come down to the fight. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.